In the European Union, there's a law being negotiated that takes a dangerous turn in the trade-off between safety and freedom. The defined goal is positive. Children should be better protected against abuse. But the law would have the side effect of creating an extremely far-reaching surveillance infrastructure that has the potential to monitor us all everywhere all the time because it would be based on our own devices. It's supposed to work like this. Providers of apps and platforms for communication would be required to include an official monitoring function. Images would be checked against a secret database, chat messages or comments on social media would be scanned for suspicious patterns, and for this to work, of course, the encryption of these messages would then have to be bypassed. This would be monitored by a central office which would also decide how and which content and according to what criteria searches should be carried out. If something suspicious was found, the provider would have to report the discovery to the authorities. We could now go into great detail about how disproportionate it would be to have a central institution that monitors the devices of potentially everyone in the EU, even without suspicion. About what consequences there would be if this system were tampered with or hacked. Or what this proposal would mean for where a business can be established and located if all trade secrets could be scanned or leaked. We could also go into detail about the dangers of this system being expanded in the future and also used for prosecuting drug offences, suspected terrorism or disturbing the public peace. And what it means for our democracy if the chilling effect were casting a large shadow over our society through undermined encryption, the loss of trusted communication and the absence of privacy. But all of this is about protecting our children. And the question is whether there aren't other ways to better protect children from abuse. So let's hear from those who have expertise and experience in the matter. Some child protection associations point out that encrypted communication in the most widespread apps hardly plays a role in this field because the perpetrators usually use other channels to exchange material. In Germany, about half of the reports are against children and adolescents themselves, even though they've consented to legally exchange their own intimate images. This is a problematic effect that could be rapidly exacerbated by chat control, as the planned system focuses on channels that are frequently used by children and young people in particular. Child protection associations have long been calling for more resources and staff for the officers responsible for protecting children. There's also a lack of mandatory training in child protection. Children need to know where to get help and what adults are allowed to do and what not. And in order to be able to recognise possible victims more quickly, teachers and other educators must be trained and sensitised. With this in mind, we're calling for the money that's planned to be funnelled into a dystopian surveillance machine to be invested in real and effective child protection measures instead. With this alternative approach, we have the opportunity to achieve two goals. Children and teenagers are protected more effectively and sustainably from abuse. Confidential communication and privacy, guaranteed by the Charter of Fundamental Rights, are preserved. Help us stop the proposed law by spreading this video and go to stopscanningme.eu to stay informed and learn what you can do.